Welcome, Rangers. You may approach the Patriot. Three, when there were fifty. Cold logic says I should turn you away. That there aren't enough of you left to do the job at hand. But that Dorsey... The Dorseys didn't just attack you. They attacked my city. This one was trying to burn down our jail. If you want some vengeance for what was done to you, he's yours. If you insist. Thank you. It's been too long since I've dealt with my problems firsthand. I'd like to do the same to all the Dorseys. And maybe, with your help, I will. But for now, let me address your immediate needs. In addition to this base and the aid I promised your general, I'll be giving you the resources to return your force to full strength. Recruiting, training, and equipping. It's not enough. I know. The men and women you lost can never be replaced, but it's what I can give you. I hope you'll accept it. I'm glad to find you so amenable. I hope that means we're going to get along. Now... <sighs> Introductions. My name is Saul Buchanan. I own Colorado, though you'll meet some who disagree. This base is your new home. From here, you'll aid my people and, more importantly, do the job I brought you here to do. Now, yes, Joe? Pardon, Patriarch. It's Daisy. An update on the Garden of the Gods? All right. Sorry, Rangers. Still putting out fires. Two of my best are waiting for you inside. Darius Kwan of the Marshals and my old friend Sergei Gretzky. Go see him. I'll be in when I'm done here. Whose Don't job was that? Around the Patriot. No sudden moves around the Patriarch. I'm on the horn. Pleased to meet you, Rangers. Not a chance. Welcome, Rangers. I'm Marshal Darius Kwan, and this here's Sergei Gretzky. Good to meet you, Rangers. Glad to see some friendly faces. Been rough around here these last few days. Dorsey's attacked us, too. Snuck inside Colorado Springs and killed a lot of people. Situation's under control now. Mostly. The Patriarch. Thank God they never got near him. He's the only thing keeping Colorado from tearing itself apart. And sorry about these alarms. Something must have triggered the old security system. Trouble is, there's a bunch of angry robots guarding the computer that shuts them off. How you deal with them is your call. Your base, your rules. Yeah, weird, huh? They weren't active when we looked the place over a few days back, but... Ah! Let's talk after you kill the alarms. I can hardly hear myself think. Alliance, 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 I 
Well done, Rangers. Good to see the place up and running. <coughs> now, where were we? Oh, yes. The reason you're here. As you may know, I have a daughter and two sons. Liberty, Valor, and Victory. Two of them conspired against me, and the third blackens the Buchanan name with every breath he takes. Consequently, I banished them. They've been skulking in the shadows ever since, but lately there's been rumors that I'm on my last legs. Lies, of course. But apparently my dear children believe them, and they've started making new plans. Ain't you smart. I'm not worried about my children defeating me, Rangers. They won't. Not even Liberty. What worries me is the destruction they'll wreak as they fail. They'll tear my land and my people to shreds. They'll burn everything I've accomplished to ash. That's why they have to be stopped before they can start. That's why you, Rangers, have to find them and bring them home to me ASAP. And when I say bring them home, I mean bring them home alive. They're my blood. Kill them, and we'll have a problem. Do I make myself clear? You've already done the impossible by making it here. I trust you. Find a way to make it possible. Now, let me tell you where they are. Victories hold up in Aspen. Valors under the protection of the Gippers in Denver. And Liberty is raising an army against me somewhere out on the Eastern Plains. Anything else you need to know? Name them. Not ones for subtlety, huh? I'll have Joe send you a few things once we get back to Broadmoor Heights. What do you want to know? Hmm. Boy's never been right in the head. Since he was a baby, he'd torture cats, terrorize the servants, set the house on fire. And he's only got worse. The things he's done to the women he finds. Anyway. I finally had enough and put the little monster under house arrest up in Aspen. I guess they weren't prepared, because he escaped a while ago and then came back with a gang of freaks and turned the place into a slaughterhouse. Now he's on the radio, laughing about what he's gonna do to his hostages and daring me to come after him. He, uh, claims he's captured some rangers as well. Don't get your hopes up. Vic likes to play with hostages. 
might not be much left by the time you find them. <sighs> Soft, spoiled, fiddled with computers all day instead of learning the arts of diplomacy and war. Finally packed him off when he accidentally crashed my security systems right before his sister's little coup attempt. Made him my official ambassador to the Gippers, hoping he'd do to their systems what he'd done to mine. That was a mistake. He took his revenge by convincing them to cut off oil shipments to my city. No oil means no heat, no light, and no food for my people. So getting Valor back and resuming oil shipments from the Gippers has to happen now. Crazy cultists, worship an old U.S. president as a god. Trouble is, they're the only ones who know how to refine oil anymore, so we gotta play nice. Liberty's got more brains and cunning than both her brothers put together. She's the only one who could actually run Colorado. Problem is... She'd run it as a goddamn slave state. Everyone in chains. Everyone working for her. Wouldn't worry about her for now, though. Best to wait until you got a little more firepower. She's gonna be well protected. <sighs> She's already tried once. Got all the way to the palace steps before we chased her off. She's been licking her wounds out east ever since. You'd better. Anything else? Uh-huh. The last dregs of a treacherous family. Thought I'd wipe them out years ago, but... <sighs> Mistakes linger, Rangers. I know that better than most. Possibly, but I know the Dorsey's from the old days. They don't take orders well. Then again, I wouldn't have guessed they'd have the guts to attack both you and Colorado Springs at the same time. So somebody put some fire in them. My staff and I coordinated the details of your arrival using coded transmissions on radio frequencies we thought were secure. Obviously, they were not. And you paid for it. I take full responsibility. Good. What else do you need? Of course. Now, if you want a chance to impress me, and maybe get a little payback, that call I got outside was from Sheriff Daisy, the head of the Marshals in Colorado Springs. She's having trouble rousting some Dorseys who have been holed up in the Garden of the Gods since their raid fell apart. Why don't you go give her a hand? Show us what the rangers can do. Enjoy yourselves, rangers. Just don't get killed. I want a return on my investment. All right, let's move out. Rangers, come talk to me when you've got a moment. I want to discuss staffing and recruiting, that kind of thing. Need to fill you in on a few things, Rangers. Good job, Rangers. Nice to be able to hear ourselves think again. And now that it's quiet enough to talk, let me reintroduce you to the great Sergei Gretzky, who's going to be helping you with personnel. Hi again, Rangers. Damn sorry about your people. 
But now that you're here, we'll do what we can to get you back on your feet and find you some new recruits, just like the Patriarch promised you. And I already got you one of the best. Meet Marcelo Gonzalez, electronics wizard, radio technician, and former dispatcher for the Marshals. He'll be your radio operator. Howdy, Rangers. Uh, while you were dealing with the alarms, I took the liberty of installing a combat AI in your vehicle. Should help you out. If you want to chat, I'll be in the operations room getting things up and running. Should be more recruits arriving soon. Ready to tell me how you want to fill out your squad? My advice is to put together a squad with complementary skills. Nobody can be great at everything. So pick recruits who are good at things your current team isn't. And you can always round out your squad with folks you meet along the way. Keep that in mind when you're choosing from the recruits I've rounded up. Listen, I can get you all the fighting troops you need, but if you meet any talented people in your travels, don't hesitate to sign them up. Now that we've got that sorted, let's talk about the next steps. Now you're the boss here, so I'm not going to tell you what to do, but getting this place up and running wouldn't be a bad place to start. That means surveying the base and finding specialists to staff it. Well, I can take care of the rank and file, but you're gonna want mechanics, medics, an armory officer, that sort of thing. A competent staff is important when the going gets tough. Helping Sheriff Daisy could be a first step. If you impress her, maybe she'll hook you up with some specialist for the base. Meanwhile, I'll start cleaning up here. Take a look around before you go. See if you want to keep any of this junk before we dump it all. Anyway, your call. Colorado Springs is straight out the main gate. If you want to go to Denver or Aspen, just hop back in your car and go out the way you came in. Uh, one sec. Forgive me for saying so, but I'm guessing you folks are going to need as much help in the field as you will here in HQ. So, what if I joined your squad? 
At least until you find your feet. Great. I'm at your disposal. Lead the way. A stink. Somebody's been using this med bay for a morgue. Gonna take an ocean bleach to get it ready for customers. Look at all this machinery. If we can get it all running, this will be a good spot for your armory. Systems active. System, system, systems active. 